Welcome to Chicken Bros. My name is David Heath. And I'm the ghost of Alan Cummings' career. <laughs> yeah. Uh, after our mask review, we kind of figured maybe one day we should come to this. I didn't really want to, but who knows? Like, who? I mean, this movie is just bad. Terrible. It's a terrible sequel that has nothing to do, almost nothing to do with the first one. It really doesn't. The only thing that ties the first one to this one is Ben freaking Stein. Yeah, that and the actual literal mask. Yeah, but... Yeah, but like that's the only thing. That's it. That's like saying, <clears throat> the, only, the only thing that ties um, the prequel trilogy to the original trilogy... This is a lightsaber. The Skywalker lightsaber. Exactly. Or the fact that lightsabers exist. Or the, fa or the fact that... Emperor Palpatine was once a senator from Naboo. Yeah. But, anyway. Uh, but this movie basically picks up where the first one left off, sort of. With Yeah, a different fucking city. Yeah, different city, different cast. It's weird. Um, and so the mask ends up in a different city with a different person who is almost going to be, like, he, he's about to be a dad. Yeah, and he's like, I don't want to be a dad. I just want to play my Game Boy. I want to I wanna be a five-year-old forever. By the way, it's Randy from Scream. I don't remember what his actual name is. Jamie know. Kennedy, I think that, his name is. Yeah, that's it. Jamie Kennedy. Shame to the name, man. Shame to the Shame name. Shame to the name. And hard to believe he tried to start a rap career. That guy was freaking not talented. Um, so he's the one who gets the mask. He goes to this Halloween party. Where? As, and he puts it on. And he doesn't turn into something funny as hell like Jim Carrey. No, he turns into something freaking annoying and scary to look at. Yeah. The mask has hair. That's weird. That is weird. And it's like, you can tell it's so fake. It looks like a plastic hat. His entire face looks more plastic. Yeah, his whole, his whole head looks plastic, doesn't it? And the weird thing is, Jim K the first mask came out like, what, five, ten years beforehand? But that looked more realistic than... Yeah, it did, than... somehow, right? That's like a regression in, like, like I don't know. But... <clears throat> He like, if Jim Carrey saw this some of the masks, he would have said, Look, Ma, it's roadkill! Ha ha ha! <laughs> oh my gosh. So he puts on the mask, goes to this Halloween party, he comes home, still wearing the mask, and porks his wife. Thus the kid. <clears throat> oh, this kid. I Okay, normally, I love babies. Babies are adorable. But, but this, this is a CGI spawn... baby. This does not count. That's the spawn of Satan. <gasps> um, now, I gotta admit, when I first saw this movie, because I was a kid when I first saw it, I didn't, Same get, I. I didn't get the whole kid was born from the mask thing. I was like, what? You saying it? Like, I mean, there's a scene in the hospital where the mom has the baby. It didn't just pop out of the mask. And I was confused because, you know, I didn't have the, the talk yet, so I didn't know how that whole thing worked. <clears throat> so I didn't get the whole fact that he did it with his wife while still wearing that thing. Yeah, and considering he was wearing the mask when he porked his wife, it's like... It's amazing how, she... how she's not torn in half. It... No, it's just more amazing that she was actually able to get pregnant. She would have just been like, uh, no. Get... Take that thing off. It's scaring me. I'm not in the mood right Well, their excuse was that the fact that it was in the dark and she couldn't see it. Like, that's bull crap. How about the fact that he was talking like a completely different person? He usually talks like this and he was talking like this. Maybe like, that's that what... wasn't that wasn't a tip off. Are you really that horny that you can't tell? Well, it is the mask, and the and mask that, is and that, kind and of that, that wife. No offense, she is kind of stupid. Not to mention she's not that good looking either. No, but um, there is a deleted scene, and I thank God they left it out of the movie. This is freaky. Where, because because I know what you're thinking, Noah. How does it make sense that he's wearing the mask when the only thing that changed was his head? That part of his body where, you know, where the baby making works didn't change. There's right. A, there's a deleted scene where you see inside the wife's womb and you see these little animated sperm and one's green and acting like a weirdo. Yikes. Head straight for the egg. Wow, I'm so I'm, glad I let that out. Yeah. Like, yeah. Remember what Nostalgia Critic said? A family picture. <laughs> sure. Yeah, family picture, all right. Anyway. Okay, but that's not even the biggest sin this movie committed. The biggest sin that this movie committed... Is that it left out Jim Carrey. Well, that and... Uh, Alan Cumming. 
Oh, right. What a waste of a brilliant actor, right? What a waste of the most perfect man to ever exist in the movie industry. Yeah. Before you get any ideas, viewing audience, I'm not gay. I just really appreciate Alan Cumming. Yeah. And I, I can appreciate him, too. I mean, Noah's a bigger fan, but I, I like I like Alan's work. He's a good actor. He's really good at what he does. And the worst part of it is, just, not only was he wasted, but they dared to make him look ugly. They dared to make him look ugly. Right? I mean, it's sad when Tom Hiddleston is a better Loki than fucking Alan Cumming. Well, that's a whole different Loki entirely. I mean, this one, was, yeah, know, this one but, was supposed to, okay, air quotes on supposed to be, based on the actual Norse myth, Loki, Tom Hiddleston Loki is more the Marvel version of Loki. Yeah, who is also based on Norse myth. That's yeah, but like, that's a base to a base to a base. So, <laughs> it's like a three-way street, you know? True. So, like, it's 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 weird, It's it makes sense when it diverses further from when it's several people going in one succession. But when it's just literally, eh, eh. And then they don't get it right in this movie. It's like, what happened? <laughs> and the word, okay. It, the movie, I don't think it started with this, but there was a point where he goes to the museum because he thinks the mask is there. No, that, yeah, that was the first scene, yeah. And when he finds it, he's like, it's a fake? And then Ben Stein's like, yes, but it's a good fake. A good so thing. what does this guy yeah, do? Ben Stein, he takes off way. Ben Stein's fucking face. That was horrifying. I thought I was having a fever dream. Yeah, that was see, that's bad CGI. I man. have vertigo and a lawyer. Hello. Uh, hello. I, hello. I love how when he's in danger, he doesn't even bother to express himself. It's Where's Ben Stein. Body? He has no emotion. Where's my body? Somebody help me. I don't like it here. Really? I mean, like this guy has to be able to emote. Well, he probably does. But I think I think him not emoting is his shtick. Yeah, like how Gilbert Godfrey's shtick is to talk loudly and obnoxiously because he talks like a normal person. Did you know yeah, that? that's true. I know that. Like, you've shown me a clip of him talking. Yeah, like a voicemail he left somebody. He was like, hey, uh, it's Gilbert. And, uh, yeah, like, but it, it's just, it's hard to believe. Yeah, I know, right? I know we should be talking about the movie, but why? Why should we talk? Like, you, we, we all know this movie's bad. There's it's no sucks. point in going through the plot. What? The dog puts on the mask? Yeah. And he's voiced by it, the guy who played Zim? Yeah, okay. And he tries to kill the baby? Yeah, the okay. Does that make this movie defendable? Hell no. Fuck no. Not in any chance of the way. No. And, and, and like, I love how... I, lo I just love. I love. And when I say love, I mean hate. The fact that, okay, the wife comes home, right? Sees the house is a mess, right? I get that the husband's acting crazy because cause all this crap he went through. And he just kind of goes ballistic on his wife because Loki disguises her. But... She witnesses all that, right? He tries. Right. To, he tries to explain that there's a dude. He's like, he's got, he's, he's the god of mischief. He's got all these powers. The police ain't gonna help us. He needs his mask. He stole our kid. She took all that into effect and think after he, him saying that he's crazy, and after having seen her neighbor with a nose for a head, which that was also horrifying. That was fucking scary, that bro. Was, no, I thought, neighbor. I, like, when did this turn into a horror movie? I don't know, but I will say this. I love the part like when after. Loki turns it, turns her into the nose, and he just goes, hmm, "Noisy neighbors." <laughs> yeah. Just that's Alan comes in humor Alan, shines to you for one a, second. How, Alan, even though he was given a horrible role, he did have a couple good lines. Like I like the one where he's pretending to be a um, vacuum cleaner salesman. Remember that? Yeah, I remember. I like how she's like, "Don't you need to plug it in?" And he just goes, "Nope." <laughs> nope. <laughs> 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 uh, Alan. And then, like, you know, when it comes to the end of the movie, like, or near the end, anyway, Loki took the kid because he needs the mask back, and, you know, the kid, the guy didn't have it. The dog had it. It was like, bring me the mask in an hour if you want to see your kid again. So, like, yeah, they need to get the mask. Which I don't know why you want to keep that kid. That kid's literally trying to get you locked up in an insane asylum. But. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No line. That is where I first heard the "Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my right time." Yeah. No shame. That's the first place I heard it too. Um, but uh. And also the first time, the first place I ever heard the Woody Woodpecker laugh. <laughs> okay, the first time for me with that was uh, Roger Rabbit. But when they meet Loki in the alleyway, he told him to meet him at. He turns out he likes the kid and wants to keep him. 